Hey guys, this is Scott and I found something on Mars I want to share with you. Now what we're going to look at first are two screenshots and then we're going to look at the Gigapan, okay, by Neil Spence. And Neil Spence put this Gigapan together by using many small NASA photos and then created this big Gigapan we're going to look at in just a second. But look at these two objects I found in it. Now this is a bottle-like object with a living creature coming out. Yes, I said living creature. Now, the first thing I got to do is hit autofocus and put it in original original color because what's the point? I mean, NASA puts these things in false color and it really does destroy the the perfection of it. I prefer to leave it as much original as possible. This is not original. This is more original. Now, what I'm going to do is increase the size so you can see it. Do you see this huge bottle structure? Do you see this snail-like or slug-like object coming out of it? Well, the white object is living. It's a living creature, an actual animal. But this object over here could be either an artifact left behind that once held a liquid, or it could be some kind of shell created by this slug-like object. Now, let's add some light to it so you can see it. There you go. You can see the bottle much better right here. You can see the bottle much better. You can see the lines down here, the lines over here. So it is definitely some kind of hollow object, a hollow object like a bottle. But we can't see this living creature very well if we add too much light because the creature itself is white. We're going to have to add some darkness. Let's add some darkness and we can see the shape of this creature better. Now it looks very similar to a lot of uh, slugs found in the ocean. They call them sea slugs. And this object, whatever it is, is definitely alive. You could see the, the end of it right here above my cursor is actually a different color, a lighter color because it's more transparent. I believe it's reaching out of this shell it has to to look around to see if it's ready to get out and find some food and substance or whatever it is it's eating and living off of. But it's also very possible this object is, like I said, that this object is creating this the substance around it to make this shell, to make this home, make its own shell. It will survive longer that way. But that's not the only thing I have for you today. I have another screenshot. It's also going to blow your mind. Here we go. Now, this is just a normal screenshot of the Gigapan. And you see something in here that might intrigue you or it might not. A doorway. Now, a doorway is not so intriguing unless, of course, you can see inside or the door is made of some other substance. And that's what we have right over here. The doorway is actually made of a white substance that is kind of unique and I've seen it in many many areas. I should make a video of just like 10 doorways made of this white substance but that would literally take weeks to make. Look at this. Okay now this is autofocus. This is NASA false color. Autofocus, auto color, NASA false color. Now, why does NASA do that? Well, you should really ask them. Why do they want the red planet looking red when it's not red? This is what it looks like. Let's add a little bit of shadow. A little bit of shadow will bring out the color and everything because the sunlight's reflecting off of it. But you can see this object inside is a door. There's a door blocking off this hollow structure. Clearly, the structure is hollow. Clearly, there is something inside, but it's just we can't access it. I'd really like to just come up to this thing, hit it with my fist, and break down the door and see what comes out to bite me. This is just too awesome. I'd really like to you know, go over there and poke it with a stick and see what happens. Okay, let's take a close look at both of these things on Gigapan. Okay, guys, this is the Gigapan I wanted to show you. It's by Neil Spence. He takes these NASA photos that are tiny and stitches them together by hand, making this huge, huge 
object we got to explore and I'll put this in the about description below the video so you can click on the link see his photos and explore them and make your own discoveries now right over here is the structure with a doorway in it now can you see it yet is somewhere inside of here there is a doorway inside of a pyramid structure now it's right here and for some reason NASA really likes putting things in false color why do they do that possibly to take the glare from the Sun off of it because it's hard to see when it's too bright but I don't believe that's right I believe that they could just do add a little shadow and do that instead I believe they're trying to fool you uh, ancient stories and books and magazines always go stating this is the red planet so they're using a red filter and I don't understand why they want to fool the public here is the object right over here you can see the doorway really extraordinary obviously some kind of pyramid structure and the doorway is made to protect it from the elements kind of cool pretty amazing this is also a loop or something kind of cool let's zoom in on this you got this little walkway underneath um, so amazing that looks like there's some kind of pyramid structure right here there's so many things here there really really are wow some kind of sculpture or something here now if you look at these you'll see that these objects you assume to be just rocks are balanced perfectly on objects look at this do you see that is this huge thing is just sitting there balanced upright it's not tilted sideways it's not tilted to the left or to the right is perfectly upright now that's that should be impossible it really should uh, but yet the impossible happens quite a bit on the red planet as they call it so let's zoom out and I want to show you where these this other object is it's right in this area now it's a living creature which looks like it's inside of a bottle and it's a little hard to find so you're gonna to have to pause this video at times five or six times to find it now it's right here right here above my cursor we're zooming in on it and there it is couldn't make it any bigger than that that's just kind of extraordinary in itself you see the this white slug like animal hanging out of it and we don't know it's intel how intelligent it is all animals have some intelligence to them uh, but this creature on the Mars must be a lot more intelligent than me because I could not survive on Mars in the elements I just don't know how it does that it, it seems pretty intelligent to me it, it's inside of this container which protects it on all sides except one little tiny doorway entrance a triangle doorway now is this object it's in is it a a water holding device or a liquid holding device that was made tens of thousands of years ago and discarded uh, we throw bottles away and those things are easily found um, I had a, my grandmother once went to Egypt and near the Great Pyramids she was saw a shiny thing sticking out after a sandstorm she picked it up and she found an 800 year old glass bottle absolutely amazing isn't it well this could be an ancient remnants thrown away or lost of a bottle from ancient civilization or this object this living creature could have created this bottle itself from this surrounding material of course okay Tell me your thoughts about this in the comment section below the video. It's pretty important to me. I really want to hear your thoughts. Is it my imagination? Is it something more important? What's going on here? That looks like some kind of ancient um, fossil right there. And you see these empty space around it. Uh, very similar to what I see when I go to the ocean here in Taiwan. There's quite a few uh, fossilized coral or sponges and it looks just like this very strange what's going on here on Mars why don't they share these things look at the angles on this baby look at this I mean that was clearly carved out that is just that's something that's been carved and deliberately made into this diamond like structure 
<laughs> so amazing so much to see I just want to keep going but I know I have to stop to stop taking up your time so I apologize for that I'm sorry if I'm babbling on about these incredible discoveries on Mars it's it's just it's it's a passion Scotty Wern like and subscribe